You were terrified by the thing that crawls. You were shocked by the thing that snaps. But now, be horrified by the thing that flops. No matter where you go, nowhere is safe from the thing that flops. Don't walk, but run from the thing that flops. Hey guys, it's me, Halloween Dan. And today I'm doing a video that I sort of said I wasn't gonna do in a way, because what I said in many videos now is that I wasn't really planning on buying a large scale animatronic. And I think I've stayed true to that. I haven't bought a large-scale animatronic. When I think of large-scale animatronics, I'm thinking like Costco level. This isn't that. It's not that. But it is an animatronic, and it is a sort of well-named branded animatronic, and I'm very excited to have it. So I'm going to be unboxing this thing, testing this thing, showing this thing, and enjoying this thing. Because today I want to talk about my latest animatronic, the Morris Costumes. Slashing bat. <laughs> yeah, let's do this. So I've said it in a few videos now that I will not be buying a brand new animatronic this year in terms of a large scale animatronic or singing or dancing animatronic. There are many that have sort of taken my fancy that I'd like a bit, but I just don't like them enough to invest. I mean, it could change. Something might come out that absolutely makes my brain melt, but I seriously doubt it. We're now nearly half, we're halfway through September. It's just not going to happen. So I'm definitely spending more time concentrating on my horn and the elements I've been building rather than on animatronic. In saying that, I have kind of bought like, is it one, two, three, four animatronics this year? They're just smaller scale animatronics like the ones from Asda and the ones from the range. Oh, and one from B&M. So that I've just, it's all been very small items this year. Then my good friends over at the Halloween Store UK the other day, if you watched that video, you might remember that I received a mystery box. In that mystery box, I received a letter that informed me that I had a 10% off code to use on their online store on items that were in stock. Now, I will just mention, I'll just reiterate, that code still can be used right now. So if you go to the halloweenstore.co.uk, find something that's in stock that takes your fancy and use promo code HALLOWEENDAN in capital letters, you will receive 10% off whatever it is you choose to purchase. So go get something quick. And I sat there and even though there was nothing I'd really planned on buying this year, I thought, it would be rude not to use a, a, a voucher, right? So I had a little look through their catalogue of things. They've got some pretty awesome stuff. And I, of course, I was drawn to the animatronics. And they've got some great animatronics that I was very tempted by. But just nothing enough to really grab me. Nothing enough that I really wanted to put it in my horn that I thought this will go down so well in my horn. Just, just not enough. Then, amongst all the very large animatronics... I saw something that, although not the biggest or most impressive animatronic, it made me stop and think. And then I realised it was perfect. So this animatronic is what I would call like a mid-range animatronic. It's not like a really cheap or re relatively static animatronic, nor is it a large scale all singing or dancing animatronic. It sits right in the middle. But the reason I was drawn to it was because it's perfect for what I'm trying to do in my haunt this year. It's a prop that I have reviewed before. It's a prop that I've seen from a distance and always liked the look of before, but never really had a purpose for it before until now. Because, of course, as I said in the intro, and you probably saw in that dumb little video, the prop I ended up buying was the Morris Costumes Slashing Bat. It's a very simplistic prop that I've seen from afar for at least a couple of years, always kind of wanted, always kind of liked, but never really had a reason for having it. And now I do. I'm doing a castle. It's both 
sort of vampiric themed and Frankenstein mad scientist themed. I, I can't decide which side of that coin is gonna be more defined, but at the minute it's kind of a mixture of both. So I've got a bit of vampire in there. I've got a bit of mad scientist Frankenstein's monster in there. And this just adds to the vampire side. Without any further ado, let's get it out of the box and let's have a little look at it. I'm calling this an unboxing, but clearly I've had this out of the box. I've had one, but only briefly. So it's not the world's biggest box. <sighs> Come on. Come on, vampire. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and here he is. I'll unfold his wings and set him up somewhere where he can hang and we'll have a proper good look at him. And so here he is, all set up. It didn't take a lot of setting up because it literally just hangs like this. Basically, apart from unfurling the wings, which were only folded up so that you could put it into the box, it was ready and raring to go. It's all set up. Now, let's just talk about this for a second before I switch him on. It's a very impressive prop. It's despite being one of the smaller end animatronics that Morris costumes do, it is actually quite large. You can see I've got it hung from our curtain pole there. And it is, it's probably about, I wanna say between four and five foot it, when it's fully hung. Its wings expand out by at least four, I'd say, if not five foot two. You can alter the wings too. I could have bent them further back. I tried to keep it as close to the picture that's on the label. Just sort of showing it, you can see that in the picture, the hands are kept quite close to the head. Not too close, but close enough. And then the wings are just unfurled out. So that's exactly what I've done. The wings are pretty cool. They're made obviously to look like bat wings, but they're like this waterproof fabric. I doubt, I don't actually know the rating for this. I doubt it's meant to be outside because all of this definitely isn't weatherproof. It's just filled with like a foam. So when I do use this in my haunt, it will only be being used when the weather is fair, hopefully most of that time. This is all just like a canvassing, which is pretty cool. We've got some creepy cloth here. It's very, very soft inside, just padded clearly to make it look a bit like a hanging upside down bat. But of course, most of the detail is in this gruesome looking face and in the hands. First of all, the hands look pretty awesome. We've got some pretty great color there on the hands at quite a lot of detail. The face too, the head is brilliant too. We've got these great creepy red eyes, the classic bat mouth. We've got a couple of bat ears too. All of this is hard plastic. The mouth detail's really good. It's clearly got its mouth open in like a big scream. And then you can see as well, we've got some fur. This is real soft fur, giving it a really creepy bat look, which I think looks great. I think it really finishes this prop off. If it had just been like hard plastic all the way around, it might not have looked quite as good. But of course, it's one thing to see this prop just hung up as a static. I think even just as a static, it looks quite terrifying and quite formidable. But we, of course, want to see it working, don't we? So let's do this. So around the back, I've just opened it up so you can see the controls inside. It's really, really simplistic. We've got a volume control, and then we've got this setting, which basically you have the try me setting, which is the demo button, which I've actually unplugged. You've got on, which clearly means it's just on constantly. And then we've got a sensor mode, which I think the sensitivity of this is either light. So if it were to be interacting with a different kind of lighting, or if you make a sound, the most common one being that if someone claps their hands or something. So I'm gonna put it on sensor mode. We'll see what it does. So as you can see there, it's got quite a lot of motion. The head turns, the arms move ever so slightly, and it flaps its wings. It's actually really, really impressive. The sound it makes too is very loud. I haven't even got it on the highest volume setting, and it's very, very loud. And this will trigger basically anytime anyone gets close enough to it or makes a loud sound around it. So I'll just give it another clap.
And then of course this time it's kind of stopped with its arms more closed than it did before. That's the only thing with this, because it's obviously a hanging prop, you've got to hang it in a place, number one where it's not gonna be overly exposed because the wind will blow this around quite easily. In fact, I might even think of sort of anchoring it down at the back with a piece of clear cord or something so that it kind of keeps it a little bit more stable. And then of course, because it's flapping its wings, it wants to kind of move around. It's, you can see now it's still wanting to sort of spin around a little bit. I don't think that'll be a problem. I think it'll be really cool where I'm planning on using it. This is clearly going to go into my castle horn. I haven't decided fully on where I'm going to put this. I think it's either going to be sort of hung on the end of the castle or potentially if my Wailing Phantom doesn't fit in the doorway, maybe this might go in the doorway of the castle. I haven't made my mind up. I think this would be quite impressive in the doorway though. We saw those really cool glowing red LED eyes. I'm not always a fan of LED eyes in, in props nowadays. I'm not always a fan of props that have light up eyes, but I think when done well, I think they look really good. And this prop, just with that addition of a bit of red in the eyes glowing brightly, I think that'll look really cool when it's obviously dark and it's obviously Halloween night. So I'm really, really excited by this prop. As simplistic as it is, I really do enjoy it. And so that's it. That's my main big purchase for this year. I know that probably seems a bit disappointing to some of you, but I think that's really, really awesome. I'm so, so pleased with it. I think it'll look great in my haunt. I really, really do. I doubt I'll buy anything big, as I've said several times now. This will probably be it. This might even be my last large scale purchase of this year because there's just nothing that I'm really drawn to yet. Like I say, unless something melts my brain in the coming weeks, I think this probably will be it in terms of large scale animatronics for me this year but who knows i'm really impressed with it and at last i finally own a morris costumes prop this is the first morris costumes prop i've ever bought i've talked about morris costumes things for years now and never actually bought anything so really really pleased with that and once again thank you to the halloween store uk for helping me out get this they've been really really helpful they've gone above and beyond for me truly they really really have so thank you to Lewis and thank you to the Halloween Store UK once again. Go and check them out to get that 10% whilst you still can. And for now, guys, I will leave it there and I will see you in the next one. Keep it spooky. Bye.